Hi guys, welcome back to Sir Jacob's vlog. I know it's been a while since we have been back together, but I am back at CBU and I am better than I've ever been before. I am so happy to be here in my new apartment and I am living my best life away from Arizona, which is the worst state in America. And here is why. Reason number one, <clears throat> Arizona is hot. Reason number two, it's mostly ugly. Also bad about Arizona, I caught off most of my friends. <laughs> so now I only have like six friends in Arizona and that's, the final reason I'm gonna share with you is that I can never talk politics without being judged. If you know, you know. Anyhow, moving on, I would like to talk about what I am obsessed with right now. First and foremost, I am obsessed with Princess Peach. I have been obsessed with her for years. I just, I think she's so funny. I think she's gorgeous. I, probably one of the best players on Super Smash Bros. any generation. So it, currently searching for the game Pr Super Princess Peach. So if you have it, please give me a holler because I want to play it. I've been loyal to her. I, I'm more loyal to her than clearly Mario is since he keeps letting her get captured, so. Say what you will, Princess Peach is the best princess there is. Next, I <laughs> am madly obsessed with Sweetener. It could be one of the best Ariana Grande albums ever released. Every song slaps. It's like not her typical album. I saw this thing, it was like, all of her albums are black and white, like the covers, except for this one, and that's for a reason because she dedicated this album to like the uh, the victims and the families of the shooting in Manchester, which I think is such a beautiful, like symbolic thing, saying that beauty can come out of this darkness. And the whole album is just a love letter to, to them and to Pete Davidson, who, y'all know I don't like, I'm not gonna get into that right now because I'm talking about what I'm obsessed with. Um, Sweetener is amazing. Ariana Grande is amazing. She's a brilliant mind. Go listen to Sweetener. My probably the my favorite song on there is Sweetener. Um, second favorite would probably be Good Night and Go. That one is is beautiful. Uh, I told myself I wouldn't talk too much about that. So moving on. Another thing I'm obsessed with is my new apartment. As you guys can see, I have. Some new decorations up. I have a Spider-Man hanging over the uh, light switch right here. There he is. And over here I have a uh, Infinity War poster that I got on clearance from Walmart for $2. It was amazing. This right here is a poster with all of the Avengers, including Spider-Man, that I got at Ross, I think. I love Ross. You can find so many cool things there for a very low price range, which I am very interested in and I love that poster so much. And then I have this poster that I got from the mall in one of my various mall crawls that I go to almost weekly. I saw that they had a big, big like photo booth up for um, promoting the Ant-Man and the Wasp movie that was coming out this summer. And of course, being a Marvel person and a avid mall shopper and somebody who just really likes to be photographed, I had to go and do it. And so I went and got my photo taken and they gave me that poster along with a Ant-Man and the Wasp shirt, which I have not worn yet because I like always see it in my dresser and I'm like, what is this black shirt? I don't wear black shirts, like plain black shirts. That's not for me. I uh, clearly wear bright colors with fun patterns, but I really wanna wear that Ant-Man and the Wasp shirt because I love Ant-Man and the Wasp. I am obsessed with being a sophomore. I am no longer a freshman. I know what I'm doing for the most part. Grant me a little bit of grace. But I am so excited to give all these little freshmen advice and see them come to me asking me questions like, oh, where is this class? Or would you like to go to dinner with me? Or how are you? There's just, they care, and I probably didn't care that much as a freshman as a lot of them do now, and so I, 
I am optimistic to what this freshman class has to offer. Another thing I'm obsessed with is Mamma Mia and Mamma Mia Here We Go Again. Here We Go Again was life changing. There was no, absolutely no conflict whatsoever in this movie and somehow they made it okay. Cher, as always, in any movie Cher has ever been in, she has been an amazing actress and I commend her so much. She can still sing, contrary to popular belief. Um, I, I love Cher so much and she will forever and always hold my heart. I relate so much to the Tanya character. She's the one who has all the Botox from the facelifts and um, she's addicted to alcohol. I'll leave that be. Another thing I am obsessed with is Troye Sivan. I probably just butchered his name, but I, I love his new album, Bloom, which just got released within the week, I think. And every song on there is so beautiful. It's, it's groundbreaking, honestly. It's so sweet. With that, I conclude things I am obsessed with and move on to things that I am not obsessed with. Time to rant. Arizona. I already ranted about that. So, rewind if you would like to hear it again, because I'm not telling it again. I don't know Arizona. Never lived there. Who? Next. This one is a little controversial, so I'm going to tiptoe lightly and not get into it. However, I am not obsessed with Nicki Minaj's new album, Queen. I'm mainly not saying anything because I am scared of her and all that she can do and her fans terrify me. There are some good songs on there that I do enjoy and I will listen to. There's a few on my playlist, but as a whole, it's just very narcissistic and I, I don't think that's what we need as a people right now. Another thing I am not obsessed with is Bethany Frankel. She is a Real Housewife of New York and if you know me, you know that I avidly watch The Real Housewives, any franchise, I don't care what city it is, I will watch it, except for Potomac, that one doesn't count. I liked Bethany for a really long time. She was one of my favorites always. But my number one favorite has always been Carol Radzivill. And she is actually a princess. Like, if you look it up, she has the title of princess and I have always loved her. She's so cool, calm, and collected, and she's always brought this like element of actually being a genuinely cool person to The Real Housewives in New York, which there's all sorts of loonies on that. I haven't gotten to watch the second or third installment of The Reunion, but I watched the first part, and Bethany was just railing on Carol. The whole entire season, she was railing on Carol, but during like the, the reunions, she was just a horrible person to, to Carol, and Carol, she was like not taking it as she shouldn't have because Bethany's been giving her crap from day one. And Bethany, or then Carol, just took it and she finally stood up for herself and Bethany's now scared of her and so she is lashing out, which is the only thing she knows how to do. Another thing I am not obsessed with is cow's milk. I lightly touched on it earlier in like one of my, what was it, either my first or my second vlog, I, I said that I don't ever drink cow's milk. I used to drink cow's milk just because it was cool. Um, I was allergic to dairy for several years of my life. I think it's still more than half of my life I was not able to drink cow's milk. I was allergic to cow's milk and I didn't like goat's milk or any of like the things that they said were substitutes except for soy milk but now i'm like kind of against soy milk too it's like it's okay i don't mind it but i prefer almond milk it's so refreshing and it does not have to come from a cow in my opinion taking milk from a cow is a form of slavery because they capture the cow they impregnate it to get it to lactate. Then they take the child as soon as it was born and they harvest the milk from the cow. And once the cow stops producing milk, they just slaughter it, use it for beef or anything else that you might get from a cow. And I am not a vegan, I will eat meat, but I just don't feel like the cow should suffer in this life. 
like YOLO, but for cows. I think I'll create that hashtag. Hmm. Okay. Enough about that. I love me some almond milk. Moving on to my final segment, which is a favorite of yours, the throwback song of the day. I, I think I used to say that this artist sounded like a goat when she sang, and I still stand by that. But I love her. It's Shakira. For my, one of my favorite songs of all time is Waka Waka. This one's for Africa. And I have added it back onto almost all of my playlists, and it will forever stay there. So listen to Waka Waka by Shakira. I will now sing it for you. Well, it looks like we had some technical difficulties there because, I don't know, I think my singing probably broke the camera and I somehow managed to fix it right now. Anyhow, you probably noticed that my hair is a little bit lighter than it used to be, it's more orange. I have done this all thanks to Sun In and I am actually in love with my new hair color. It is beautiful. I feel like Archie Andrews and I feel like that's all I ever need in life. So all I do is I spray some sun into my hair after I shampoo and condition it and then I, I blow dry my hair and the sun in is heat activated and so it lightens my hair almost instantly and the, I got noticeably lighter hair after only four uses which I was super impressed with, and I am impressed with the results still. So I highly recommend using Sun In if you are unsatisfied with your poopy, dark brown hair color, like I had. So Sun In, if you'd like to sponsor me, I would love that. I will forever and always recommend you to anybody who is looking to lighten their hair. If you have blonde hair, it still works for you. Um, if you have dark hair, it works for you too. If you have orange hair, I'm not sure what it does because I've never seen anybody actually use it. That is a ginger. But I'm sure it still works for you too. So Sun In, sponsor me, I love you. Um, you work for me a lot. That was a motorcycle crossing by my apartment. I am right on the street and I actually love it. It's, I feel so Riverside. Um, but that's enough of me for today. I love you all, and I hope you have an amazing day, and you'll be seeing a lot more of me now that I am back at the BAP. So, peace and blessings, over and out.